So I'm here with no, none other than Joe Dante, um, legendary filmmaker, uh, Gremlins. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, how has the industry changed in terms of making, like, getting films done and making films today as opposed to what it was like back in, say, how the 80s? How long you got? Uh, maybe the, the short answer. The short answer is it's not the same business I got into. I, got a, I came out here in 73 to work for Roger Corman, making drive-in movies back when there were drive-ins, back when movies were actually shot on film. Uh, and there was a waiting market, not just in the drive-ins, but in the video stores, of uh, people waiting for these kind of movies. Well, you know, kids come up to me now and say, so tell us how you broke into the movies. And I say, I can tell you, but it's completely irrelevant because that business is long gone. It's a different business now. It's different. The movies are made for different people, by different people, uh, for markets that, you know, uh, are very small. And uh, movies either cost astronomically a lot or hardly anything. And all the movies in between which is the movies that I grew up on and the movies that most of my career was spent in, uh, have more or less migrated to cable television. Right. And, and would, I mean, obviously, you're not making movies at the, the same rate that you did before. And is, part of that, is that part of the reason that you don't, you're not as active in, in filmmaking as, as you once were? Well, no, it's also, you know, when you get older, you get older. And it's like, well, let's get a young guy. Yeah. Uh, and also young guys work cheap. And young guys also don't quite know what they want to do yet. And so it's easy for the studio people to say, well, do it our way. You right. know, whereas to somebody who's been making movies for 20 years, it's a little harder to tell them how to make their movie, especially when chances are the executive is younger than the filmmaker. And you think it's harder for filmmakers today to make the movie that they want as opposed to when, uh, you know, back in the 70s and the 80s? Uh, I think the studio system is more restrictive now than it was in that period, because uh, I made some movies just the way I wanted to for, for studios in those days. Uh, now it's much more it's much more difficult because there's so much more writing on every movie. They, they just not just the budget of the movie, but the advertising budget and all the money that has to be recouped before anybody makes any money makes them very antsy and they they, they want to make sure that all the edges are rounded off and that it, nobody's offended and that the most number of people will be happy with the movie and that often leads to bland movies that people don't want to see. Right. Well, that makes sense. So one last uh, one last quick question. What, in terms of everything that you've done over the course of the years, what was the best experience that you had in making a movie? Well, the most fun I had was I had a lot of fun making Inner Space because the actors were so much fun. Uh, and, and Gremlins 2 was fun because uh, they were so desperate to have a sequel that they actually said, if you'll do this movie for us, we'll let you do whatever you want. And... Um, that's not an offer I have very often, and I took advantage of it. You yeah, you certainly did. That movie was a lot of fun. And what are you currently working on right now? Anything new in the works? Well, as I say, when we, people ask me if I was working on something, why would I be here? Uh, <laughs> no, I, ha I actually have a, a TV episode of Hawaii Five-O coming up, and then I have a feature uh, uh, that I'm supposed to start in October uh, that hasn't been announced yet, so I can't really announce it, but it's a zombie comedy. Oh, nice. Great. Well, thank you for taking time to talk to us today, Joe. Thanks. Thank you.